Hi everyone, I hope you're well. So I did my friend Lucy's workout this morning, which was excellent. And I thought, why don't I follow it up with a quick yoga video just to help us stretch out all those muscles that we worked this morning. So um, hopefully this will give you a bit of a feel for the kind of yoga that I practice and maybe you'd wanna join one of my live yoga sessions I'm currently running on Wednesdays and Sundays and I'll post um, the details of those sessions with this video. So let's begin at um, the front of our mats. Sit down on your mat with your legs crossed. Place your hands on your knees, roll your shoulders back and down, tuck your chin, close your eyes, and just take a couple of deep breaths here, just bringing awareness back to your body. So try and inhale through your nose if you can and exhale through the mouth. And then on an inhale, lift both hands up, look towards your fingertips. On an exhale, place your left hand on your right knee, right hand behind you, we're taking a twist to the right. On an inhale, see if you can straighten your spine, lengthen, and exhale, see if you can twist a little bit deeper. Take one more inhale here, and then exhale, come back to centre, lift both hands up on an inhale, and we'll go the other way, so your right hand is on your left knee, left hand behind you, twisting to the left and my cat Rupert's just coming to say hello here. Take another inhale here. On an exhale, come back to center. On an inhale, lift both hands up. This time we're going to take a side bend. So right hand is on your mat, left arm is over your left ear. So we're stretching the left side of your body. You can gaze towards your left fingertips if that's comfortable or just keep gazing down. And then exhale, come back to center. And then on an inhale, lift both hands up again. And exhale, go the other way. So left hands on the mat, right arms over your right ear, stretching the right side of your body. Take a deep inhale here. Try and keep both hip bones on the mat if you can. And then exhale, come back to center. From here, we're going to roll onto our hands and knees and come into a tabletop position. So shoulders over your wrists, hips over your knees, and we're going to do a few cycles of cat-cow. So on an inhale, arch your spine, lift your chest and your chin up and look up. And exhale, round the back and look down, chin to your chest. On an inhale, let's arch the spine, lift your chin and your chest up. And exhale, round the back and look down. Really feel the, sh the stretch in between your shoulder blades here. One more time, inhale, lift and look up. And exhale, round the spine and look down. And then come into a neutral position. So we're going to place your right foot out to the side toes pointing forwards and maybe just at a, a slight angle and you can just stay here or if you want to feel a stretch a little bit deeper you can sit back on your left heel and stretch your arms forwards and you should start feeling a really good stretch on your in your right inner thigh here take a few deep breaths here and then exhale come back to center and we'll switch sides so place your left leg out to the side toes pointing forwards or maybe just slightly at an angle and stay here or you can sit back onto your right heel this time and stretch your arms forwards for a slightly deeper stretch. Deep breathing here. One more inhale and then on the next inhale come back into a tabletop position. So from here you're going to lift your left arm up to the sky and then thread it through your right arm so you're trying to lower your left shoulder onto the mat and your left ear. Doesn't matter if it doesn't come all the way down, just see how far you can get to. If your shoulder and your ear is on the mat and you wanna stretch a little bit deeper, you can wrap your right arm behind your back and see if you can grab hold of your left thigh here for a slightly deeper shoulder stretch. Take another inhale here. <laughs> Stroke your cat if you've got one and then come back into a tabletop position and we'll switch sides. So right arm up to the sky and then thread it through your left arm, move your cat out of the way. Place your right shoulder onto the mat now and your right ear. If it doesn't come all the way down, again, doesn't matter as long as you feel a good stretch. And for a deeper stretch, maybe you can wrap your left arm behind your back this time and see if you can grab hold of your right thigh. So just stretching your shoulder there. Take another deep inhale here and then exhale, come back to center. 
come back into a tabletop position we're going to stretch our left leg back and keep your toes on the mat and then stretch your right arm forward and start circling in back behind you inhale forwards and exhale back behind you just a, a bit for shoulder mobility here one more time inhale forwards and exhale stretch it back behind you and then lift your left leg off the mat if you can right hand stretching forwards stay here or if you want to you can try and grab hold of your left foot with your right hand here on an inhale release and then lower everything down and we'll switch sides so stretch your right leg back behind you toes flat on the ground and then start circling your left arm forwards and then stretching it all the way back inhale forwards exhale all the way back and one last time forwards and exhale all the way back and then stretch your left arm forward see if you can lift your right foot off the floor maybe grab hold of your right foot with your left hand doesn't matter if you can't do that you can always stay in the previous pose take another inhale here and exhale release and then tuck your toes under we're going to come into our first downward facing dog so i'm just moving back to avoid kicking rupert so our first downward facing dog you can keep a good bend in your knees to start with you can alternate between lowering one heel down onto the mat and then the other just see how you're feeling today maybe you need to keep a, a nice bend in your knees maybe you can lower both heels down on the mat but really stretch through your hands into your shoulders and then take an inhale and step your feet towards your hands and then keep a good bend in your knees and just fold forwards over your thighs maybe grab hold of your elbows and sway side to side just releasing the back here but make sure there's no tension in your head or neck um, and just just hang here just let your spine release and then take an inhale and on an exhale start rolling all the way up to standing your neck and your head are the last ones to come up inhale lift both hands up look towards your fingertips and exhale hands by your sides so from here we're going to sit back into a chair pose so pretend like you're sitting back in a chair lift both hands up really got stretch for your back and also strengthener for your legs lower your hands back down and then see if you can interlace your hands behind you roll your shoulders back and down inhale and then maybe stay here or if you can start lowering your chest over your thighs and bringing your arms over your head just feel a good stretch in your shoulders see how far you can get to it doesn't have to be very far just wherever is comfortable for you and then release your hands back down on the mat see if you can straighten straighten your legs look forwards with a straight spine inhale and then on an exhale you're going to step your left leg back I'm just adjusting so I don't kick the cat again. Lower your left knee on the mat. And then we're going to come up into a low lunge. So you're going to lift both hands up. <laughs> really stretch through your fingertips up. You can keep the toes tucked under or release them. I can't because the cat's in the way. And then exhale, see if you can start working your right leg in the direction of straight. Um, flex your right toes towards you inhale lengthen your spine and on an exhale see if you can fold over your right leg it doesn't matter how far you can get to as long as you're keeping a nice straight spine you're not rounding your back too much that's all that matters and then come back up rebend um, the knee and then uh, place your left hand down on the mat lift your right arm up towards the sky inhale Maybe lift your left knee off the floor and maybe roll onto the outer edges of your feet to just stretch the hips. And then lower your right hand back down, step back into a downward facing dog. Sorry, I'm just moving about because of the cat. <laughs> Take an inhale here. And then look towards your hands, step your feet to your hands, place your hands on your shins, make a flat back and look forwards, lengthen the spine. Exhale, see if you can keep your legs straight and fold forwards, maybe grab hold of the back of your legs. On an inhale, lift your both hands up, stretch through the fingertips and exhale, hands by your sides. We're going to come back into that chair pose, so sit back on your heels, lift your arms up, inhale and exhale, 
interlace your hands behind you one more time roll your shoulders back and down look forwards take a deep inhale exhale fold over your chest stretch your shoulders bring your hands over your back take another inhale here and then exhale release your hands back down on the mat inhale make a straight back and we're going the opposite way so you're stepping your right leg back behind you lowering your right knee onto the mat <laughs> And we're going to come up into a low lunge on this leg so inhale lift both hands up you can release the toes on your right foot if you want to for a deeper stretch in your right front of your right leg inhale and then exhale start working your left leg in the direction of straight flex your toes towards you lengthen your spine and fold forwards and again try not to round your back too much instead lengthen your spine towards the toes then re-bend your left knee, place your right hand, right hand down on the mat and inhale, lift your left arm up towards the sky. And maybe you can lift your right knee off the mat, maybe roll onto the outer edges of your feet and just stretch the hips here. Inhale, exhale, lower the left hand down on the mat and, and step back into downward facing dog. Nice deep breath here and exhaling. On your next inhale come into a plank pose you're going to lower your knees down onto the mat keep your elbows in and lower all the way down onto the mat release your toes and lift your chest up into a cobra make sure you're rolling your shoulders down so they're not pressing against your ears and then maybe look over one shoulder and look over the other shoulder and then come back to center lower back down onto the mat inhale downward facing dog Take a deep inhale here and exhale. And then lower your knees back down onto the mat and you're going to move your hands to the left side on, of your mat and step your right leg forwards. So we're stretching the hips and the thighs here. So you can stay here, you can release your toes on your left foot if you wanted to. Stay here or for a deeper stretch you can maybe lower onto your elbows but if this is too much you can always come back onto your hands. Take a couple of breaths here and then come back onto your hands and then roll onto the outer edge of your right foot and maybe use your right hand to gently press on your right knee just opening up the right hip here. Stay here if this is a deep enough stretch for you. If you want to go a bit deeper you can maybe Bend your left knee and grab hold of your left foot with your right hand and really kick that foot into your hand to open up the right shoulder as well. One more inhale and then exhale, release. Step your right foot back into a tabletop position and we'll switch sides. So move your hands to the right hand side, step your left foot forwards and then just experiment here. See how you feel. You can maybe release the toes on your right foot this time. Take a couple of breaths here maybe you want to lower onto your elbows but you really don't have to as long as you feel a good stretch that's all that matters deep breathing here if you're on your elbows maybe start coming up onto your hands and if you wanted to you can roll onto the outer edge of your left foot and use your left hand to just gently press on your left knee opening up the left hip here and if you wanted to go a little bit deeper, start bending your right knee and bring your um, right foot towards you. Grab hold of your right foot with your left hand this time and kick your foot into your hand to open up the left shoulder. Take a deep inhale here and then exhale, release. Step your left foot back into a tabletop position. Tuck your toes under and come into a downward facing dog. And you can always keep your knees bent in this downward facing dog or for a deeper stretch, you can start um, straightening your legs. On an inhale, lift your right leg up and then see if you can bend your right knee, bring it into your chest, round the spine and step it through in between your hands. Lower the left heel down onto the mat and inhale, we're going to come into a warrior one. So just make sure your hips are facing forward so you're squaring your hips forwards take a deep inhale here 
And then we're going to open into Warrior Two. So slightly wider stance, your left toes are now parallel with the back edge of your mat. Hands, left hand down onto your left leg, right arm over your right ear, reverse Warrior. And then place your right elbow onto your right knee, left hand up, um, side angle. And then for a shoulder stretch, you can wrap your left hand behind your back, maybe grab hold of your right thigh. If this is too much, just stay in the side angle, wherever you feel comfortable. From here, see if you can straighten your right leg and keeping the, um, keeping the left arm wrapping around, come into a triangle pose and then release and lift your left arm up, inhale left arm over your left ear and then release that arm onto your mat step back into a plank from here we're going to lower all the way down either into a cobra or upward facing dog and exhale downward facing dog take a deep breath here and then on your next inhale lift your left leg up it doesn't have to be very high Exhale, bend your left knee around your spine and step it through in between your hands. Lower your right heel onto the mat, square your hip for, hips forwards and then lift both hands up into warrior one. Take a nice deep breath here. And then on an exhale, you're going to open up into warrior two. So you can widen your stance here one more time. So your left toes are pointing forwards, right foot, the edge of your right foot is parallel with the back of your mat now. Take a nice inhale, right arm down your right leg, left arm over your left ear, reverse the warrior. And then left elbow onto your left knee, right arm up for a um, side angle. And again, you can wrap your right arm behind your back now see if you can grab hold of your left thigh this time opening up the right shoulder inhale and then straighten your um left leg and see if you can keep that um bind and then release your right arm up towards the ceiling or the sky in my case into a triangle pose and then bring it over your right ear and then circle your hands back down onto the mat, come into a plank. One more time, lower all the way down onto the mat. And this time, stretch your arms forwards and then see if you can lift your hands off the mat, maybe a couple of inches, inhale. And then exhale, bend your elbows 90 degrees, keep your arms lifting off the floor, back strengthening. And then bring your arms back behind you, palms facing down, keep lifting your chest up inhale and then exhale place your hands back down on the mat underneath your shoulders lift up into a plank and press back into downward facing dog take a nice deep inhale here and then from here walk your hands back towards your feet separate your feet maybe a little bit wider point your toes out about 45 degrees and see if you can sit back into a malasana or garland pose so you're sitting back into a deep squat and you can maybe bring your hands in front um, of your chest in prayers and then you can maybe lower your left hand onto the floor and lift your right hand up for a bit of a twist and then switch sides so right hand on the floor, left arms lifting up and then bring your hands back in and pray in front of you, inhale and then exhale, see if you can place your hands back on the mat and start lifting into a forward fold, you can keep a good bend in your knees, grab hold of your big toes and then open up your elbows out to the sides, so really feel the stretch in between your shoulder blades here. And if you can, maybe you can straighten your legs as well so you feel a good stretch at the back of your legs too. But you can always keep a bend in your knees, it doesn't really matter. Take another inhale here. And exhale, release. And start walking your hands back towards the front of your mat, back into a downward facing dog. From here you're going to bend your right knee, bring it into your chest and step it through in between your hands. 
inhale come up into warrior one again so your left um left foot's on the floor and from here open your arms out to the sides and then lower your right hand down your left leg and your left arm over your left ear a bit of a twist here inhale come back to center open up into warrior two and from here stretch your right arm forwards and see if you can lower it back onto the floor on the inside of your right foot inhale maybe bring your left arm over your left ear and then lower your left arm on the floor so uh, your both of your hands are now on the inside of your right foot keep your left knee lifting and then maybe lower onto your elbows for a deeper stretch here so we're really stretching the um, hips and the thighs here the front of your leg take a nice deep inhale here and then see if you can step back into a, an elbow plank here and bring your feet closer towards you to a dolphin pose so it's like a downward facing dog but off your elbow so this is a really good stretch for the shoulders take an inhale here and then exhale walk your legs back into an elbow plank and then lower down onto the mat into a sphinx pose so you're going to keep your shoulders over your elbows and lift your chest up into a sphinx pose take an inhale and an exhale lower your chest back down press up into a plank and then downward facing dog and we'll do the same sequence on the other side so on your next inhale bring your left knee into your chest step your right left foot in between your hands and lift your arms up into a warrior one inhale and then on exhale you're going to open your arms out to the side lower your left hand down your right leg right arm over your right ear this time inhale and then open up into a warrior two so again maybe widen your stance if you need to take an inhale on an exhale you're going to reach with your left arm forwards and see if you can lower it on the inside of your left foot this time maybe bring your left sorry your right arm over your right ear inhale and on an exhale lower your right hand back down onto the mat and see if you can spin your right heel up and your hands are now on the inside of your left foot maybe lower onto your elbows from here Take a nice deep breath and then step back into an elbow plank one more time and walk your feet towards you for a, a dolphin pose, one more dolphin pose here. Take a nice deep breath and then exhale, just lower your knees back down onto the mat, sit back on your heels in a child's pose so you can bring your arms by your sides, palms facing up. And just take a couple of cleansing breaths here, inhaling through the nose if you can and exhaling through the mouth. One more time, inhaling. And then come up into a seated posture, just bring your legs um, out in front of you. Place your hands by your hips, tuck your toes, um, so you're flexing your toes towards you, roll your shoulders back and down and just sit here in Dandasana, nice and active pose. Take a nice deep breath. And then from here, bend your right knee into your chest, just hug it in for a breath and then place your right foot into your left thigh, inhale, lift both hands up and exhale, fold forwards over your left leg. So it doesn't have to be very far. Try and keep your spine nice and straight if you can. On an inhale, lengthen forwards and exhale, fold forwards. So if you can grab hold of your foot, great. If not, you can always just um, hold on to your thigh or your shin or maybe fingertips on the floor, wherever you can reach really. But the aim is to lengthen your spine forwards rather than round the back, if that makes sense. And then come back up into seated and place your right foot on the area just above your left kneecap and then use your right hand to maybe gently press on your right knee opening up the hip 
If you want to go a little bit deeper, you can start bending your left knee and bringing your left foot towards you and maybe cradle your right foot into your arms. So you should feel a really, really good stretch in your right hip here. Take a nice deep breath. Really feel the um, hip opening up. And then exhale, release, and we're going to switch sides. So bend your left knee, bring your knee into your chest, hug it in for breath. And then bring your left foot into your right thigh. Take an inhale, lift both hands up, and exhale, fold forwards over your right leg this time. And again, just grab hold wherever you um, can. So maybe your thigh, your shin, maybe you can um, grab hold of your foot. Inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, fold forwards. And again, we're trying to lengthen our spine as much as possible rather than round it. Take a nice deep breath here. And then come up and place your left foot over the area just above your right kneecap. And you can use your left hand to press on the knee to open up the knee. If you want to go a little bit deeper, start bending your right knee and bringing your right foot towards you and maybe cradle your left foot in your arms this time. I'm always a lot tighter on this side, so it's a lot more challenging for me here. Nice deep breath here, really breathe into the stretch. And then exhale, release, release your legs back down onto the mat. Bend your right knee one more time and this time bring your right foot over your left knee so it's on the outside of your left knee and bend your left leg so your left heels towards your hip. Take an inhale, on an exhale we're going to take a twist to the right so you can place your left hand onto your right knee or if you want to go a little bit deeper you can bend your elbow and put your left elbow over your right knee twisting to the right. Take one more inhale and then exhale, release. And we'll switch sides. So bend your left knee, place your left foot over your right knee this time and then bend your right leg so your right heels towards your left hip. And then take a twist to the left. If you want to deepen it, you can lift your right arm up and then hook your right elbow over your left knee and just twist to the left. One more inhale here. And then exhale, release. And then from here, you're going to stretch both legs out straight, lift both arm ups, inhale and exhale. You're going to fold over your legs you can keep a little bend in your knees to start with and then start lowering over your legs maybe grab hold of your toes or the outer edges of your feet but again if this is too far you can always just grab hold of your thighs or maybe your shins on an inhale see if you can lift and lengthen and exhale fold a little bit deeper one more inhale and then exhale come back up Bend your knees and then bring the soles of your feet together and bring your heels as close to your body as you can. Place your hands on your feet, take an inhale and exhale, fold forward. So you're opening up the hips here. I usually use my elbows to just press on my knees and open them up uh, to the sides. Again, just see how you feel. It doesn't have to be a very deep posture. You don't have to go very far, just wherever is comfortable for you. Take an inhale and then exhale, release. And you're just going to move your feet forwards a little bit. So you're making a diamond shape with your feet. Inhale and exhale, fold forwards. So again, a hip stretch, but a slightly, you should feel it in a slightly different area of your hips here. Take one more breath in. And then exhale, release. And from here, you're going to open up your legs out to the sides flex your toes towards you, place your hands back behind you to start with and just sit with a nice straight spine. If you can maintain the straightness in your spine without collapsing and rounding, maybe bring your hands in front of you. If this is comfortable, you can maybe start folding forwards, uh, bringing your or creeping your 
fingers um, forwards on your mat. Take an inhale and exhale. See if you can lower a bit deeper. It doesn't matter if your head doesn't reach the floor. You can always just sit nice and straight. As long as you're feeling a good stretch in your inner thighs, your lower back as well. That's all we want. Take one more inhale and then exhale, come back up. And from here, you're just going to bring your feet together, bend your knees, and with control, lower all the way back down onto the mat. Bring your knees into your chest and just rock along your spine, release your spine. And then place your feet back down onto the mat, bring your heels towards your body, arms by your sides, palms facing up, take an inhale and lift your hips off the floor into a bridge pose. So, just make sure you are not feeling any tension or any pinching in your neck or your lower back. If this is not comfortable, just release and bring your knees into your chest and just lie in that position. Um, you shouldn't feel any pain in your neck and your lower back. And then release, bring your knees into your chest one more time. We're going to repeat the same posture, but this time you can interlace your hands behind your back and roll onto your shoulders a little bit more to stretch out the shoulders. So you can either do the previous variation or um, come with me and just um, interlace your hands behind you, roll onto your shoulders and see if you can lift up a little bit more. Inhale and exhale. Take another deep breath here and then on an exhale release, bring your knees into your chest one more time. And then keep your right knee into your chest and you're going to stretch your left leg out on the floor and then right arm is stretching to the side left hand on your right knee you're going to take a twist to the left so you're bringing your right knee over to the left doesn't matter if it doesn't reach the floor inhale come back to center and switch sides so bring your left knee into your chest hug it in and then stretch your left arm out to the side and take a twist to the right final supinal twist take one more inhale and then exhale bring your knee back into your chest and then release your left leg down onto the mat and we're going to relax in a final pose shavasana our final relaxation pose so just make sure you are not flexing any part of your body let your feet fall out relax your legs hands by your sides maybe palms facing up if that's comfortable close your eyes and just take a nice deep breath if you can inhaling through the nose and exhaling through the mouth and i encourage you to stay in this shavasana pose for a few minutes if you've got the time it's always good to relax after a yoga practice and I'm just going to say thank you so much for joining this practice today. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you want to join one of my live yoga sessions, I do them every Wednesday at 12 o'clock and every Sunday at half past one. They're only half an hour long and they're free. So please come and join me. Um, most of the time we do a total body stretch, but some weeks I focus on specific areas like lower back or hips or shoulders so it depends but um otherwise i hope you enjoyed the class um have a lovely rest of your day whatever you're doing namaste